Hi, my name is Pop. This is a tutorial in Ubuntu Basics that shows how to use FFmpeg to edit existing video files to make them shorter by removing either a portion from the front or a portion from the rear. I am now recording FFmpeg using this file called Screencast Recorder which I have demonstrated in another tutorial in Ubuntu Basics. Briefly, I'm going to display it and show you what it looks like. I'm running it now in the terminal, which you can see over on the left, but now I'm going to display it. And this is what is going on at the moment. I am using FFmpeg to record the desktop screen. The T option tells it that it's going to record a maximum of one hour. That's hours, minutes, seconds. And I'm using also sound and pulse audio and I'm grabbing the screen at five frames a second and I'm using full screen resolution. My laptop is 1366 by 768 and uh, it goes on with more details and then finally the path is home user, that's me, pop, desktop, and I'm calling the resulting video file that's being created right at this second, 1, MKV. Well, I'm using a very, very similar uh, uh, FFmpeg file, and this one I called time edit, and I'm not going to run it yet, I'm going to just display it and here we are again. This is the one we just looked at. This is recording the screen. And this one is the one which will edit existing video files. I have an input file and I'm going to call my input file A. And I've got an output file here and it's called B. And I'm telling it to use the video codecs that are exactly the same, just copy. And I'm using the same audio codecs, just copy. There are two options to shorten the existing video. One is SS, and these are hours, minutes, seconds. And they will take time from the front of the existing video. The T option makes the video to a total length. If I want to have a video that is exactly, uh, let's see, this would be 30 minutes long, I would just put in a three right here. If I wanted to remove 30 seconds from the front of the video, it would be here. Now remember, if I did both of these commands, S, S, and T, simultaneously, I would have a video that is 30 minutes long. But I would be 30 minutes and 30 seconds into the original video because I first removed 30 seconds from the front. You can even go further and if you want to, break down beyond one second. Those are called kazillionths of a second. Now, look here, I've got MKV and MKV. However, you can use any audio codec, but they've got to be consistent if you're going to just copy. In other words, I could make this M4V and M4V. In fact, my example now, let me save this file, save, and close. I've got an example video and we're going to work this video. This video is called Too Long and it's M4V. Before you work with a video, it would be a good move to just copy it and then paste it 
and then change the name to the name that you're going to work with, in my case A, and then the one that it creates that's shorter will be called B. So this one is right here called too long copy, but I'm going to change that to A. Now this is M for V. I mean A for A, M for V. And so I'm going to have to go into my text file here and change that. because it would stall out if I told it to use MKV. I'm going to chop off 30 seconds from the front and the whole thing is going to be 30 minutes long. File, save, Just for the grins of it, let's open up the video that's too long and uh, we'll, we'll take a look at it. VLC is opening the video. You cannot hear the sound because I have everything routed uh, through the microphone. I could hear the sound in my headphones and it was annoying so I turned it off. I'm going to go down here to the counter and zoom in and you can see that this video is 50 minutes and 26 seconds and we're 25 seconds into it and I have instructed uh, FFmpeg to lop off the first 30 seconds and then the whole video is going to be 30 minutes long so let me close this and now I'm going to go to time edit this time I'm going to run the program and you can see it running. How long will it take? Well it didn't take very long to do a 30 minute video. Let me open up B now and see what it looks like. If you can see the counter down here, it is exactly 30 minutes long. I'm six, six seconds into the video. Now you might ask, well, that's kind of confusing to uh, make a total length and then take off the front. Yeah, it is. You can do this in two steps. You can, uh, uh, you saw how fast it is. You can lop off the front then figure out how long you want the total length to be. Do it again. Now you might ask, well what about if I want to take something out of the middle? Well I have a prior video showing how to use MKV merge. <coughs> Excuse me. And MKV merge will allow you to uh, add together two segments. So you can do this. You just have to do it in a couple of steps. You might ask, well heck, well that's a lot of bother and it's a lot of command line interpreter uh, why not just use why not just use a, a regular video editor like AVID Mux or PI PTV or even VLMC yeah they are very elegant and they work well and you can do all kinds of stuff with them and they do have a really tough learning curve all of them do and beyond that sometimes they don't work so good and this one is so fast I I see no other reason to uh, to, to use anything else I mean I'm not going to be making professional movies uh, my name is pop and if this video was uh, helpful to you I would like to hear from people and I have a whole bunch of YouTube videos on Ubuntu basics and other topics and I thank you very much.